So, so how many how many days all together was the campaign that you planned? The campaign was it was thirty. Well, it, it said thirty three days, but it was more like thirty two and a half. Um, we launched on, on a Sunday afternoon. Um, the campaign ends on uh, Friday at, at nine p.m. So thirty two days and some change. And so, and now we're down to the final six days. Yep. So, so take me in, take me into like a typical day, you know, in the crowdfunding because it sounds like you guys are continuing to work full time, and yet here you are trying to raise a large sum of money on top of it. What's a typical crowdfunding day like for you? So I think typically, uh, you know, in, in the morning, before before we leave for work, we'll um, you know check email. Um, Check online, that kind of thing. When, Set up Hootsuite. Yeah. Uh, schedule all the tweets. So she'll schedule before she leaves yeah. work. I'll I'll get to work, um, do some work, and, and then set aside time to um, uh, go online, schedule some tweets, try to do some follow up um, to those. Tweets. And I have to do it before I leave for work or the night before because I have a firewall that I can't get through, so I can't uh, access Facebook. I can't get to Twitter once I'm at work, so I've got to do it all through Hootsuite so I can you know have it set up ahead of time um, so I'm not cut off the whole time and, and I'll, I'll just try to be uh, as active uh, as I can um, the hopes that I don't get pulled into something um, from my day job during the day sometimes I'll, I'll look up and realize that a couple hours have passed by and, and you know I haven't done it been active uh, at all um, in in the campaign so that that's during the day and then I think I think every couple of days we sort of like reevaluate where we are too. So, you know, we had a schedule going into it. It's like, okay, this is what we're going to accomplish. And then like, you know, when you're not able to meet certain things or something gets pushed, you, we sort of say like, okay, well, how important is that one thing? And do we need to get that done tonight? And that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's been staying up like till three or four. And a lot of times that's when I'll be getting up because I won't have finished what I needed to do the night before. So, be, you know, one night I, I stayed up on like Twitter for a while and then it was like 12 o'clock and I didn't have my stuff ready for the next day so you know going to bed waking so, up at four yeah, and like a, planning lessons. It's been a handoff of her waking up really, <laughs> me going to bed really late, her, her waking yeah. up really early and then um, getting a little bit of sleep and then then head to work and then we carpool to work um, which is nice because then we can nice. catch up. Um, plan. Plan for the uh, day. Plan for that night what we're going to do. Like, do, do we need to do a write up? Do we need to reach out to more? Uh, send some emails? What, what exactly we're doing that night? We'll yeah. plan on the drive home. And, and I mean, knowing you two, I mean, knowing, uh, you know, I, we know that you've been involved in the filmmaking community for a long time now. Um, you know, you've been supportive of many other crowdfunding campaigns. So it, it's not like you're, you're just diving in, not knowing anything. But even with that, I mean, it's sort of like, what were your expectations? before the launch um yeah. yeah what were your expectations heading I, into this i think you know we talked about this recently we're like we i don't think that we underestimated how much work was involved i think that part we understood and, and from talking to other filmmakers and other people who have done it you know like we knew how completely overwhelming it would be but even so it's still even more overwhelming than you think even knowing that but aside from that i mean for me i think i i overestimated how much i could physically humanly get done like I mean, it's not like, yeah, you can try to fill every second and every moment, but like at some point you do have to go to sleep. At some point you do have to eat and you have to go to the bathroom. Like you have to, like you have to do little things in your life that like, like that takes time. Like, yeah, it may just be like 10 minutes, but there are things that you, you have to give. And it's like, you can't cram all of your parts of your life into every literal second and every single minute. Yeah. And, and I think that was the toughest part because we, we did know how incredibly hard it was going to be, uh, but there's a big difference between actually being in it and and, and knowing. And, and I, I think the frustrating thing has been that um, we just haven't we haven't had um, the man hours to do what we we knew needed. We we knew there was a certain threshold of effort that that needed to be put in it, and you know we had to just kind of <laughs> at a certain point just watch that go by because you know the sun was coming up literally. 